Here's a little slice of Mexico. Apartment building or somebody's house and a new car going by and a very old car over there. And this is not necessarily Classico in Mexico, the HEV store, Texas supermarket chain where we spent the night last night because I knew that HEV allows people overnight. Uh, there's some more great stuff over there besides my shoes. And uh, I thought we'd go in and change some money in uh, HEV because it's, it's a Texas chain. But we, uh, they held us up. Bicycle, lots of bicycles, lots of bicycles, lots of great colors. They, uh, the manager, they're serious about not having service dogs in almost any place around here. There's no magic, it's not there, I think magic is in the bathroom. And the puppy is somewhere, I think, under the bed back there, and I don't know where he is right now. Uh, yeah, so when the, uh, when the, uh, manager, the top guy at the front end said, let me get the manager and maybe he can make an exception for service dogs, I said, something clicked in and said, you don't go to HUB stores anymore. You had a problem at one HUB store and actually left on the run and down in Texas you sure aren't going to HEB stores because any of them could have videos of you and that might be true in Mexico also. So I said, ah, never mind, no es importante. We, we don't need to come in. <clears throat> back there, what you can see back there, but we just rented a room at the Hampton Inn back there and I'm about to spend the rest of my life in Victoria cartel and I'll make friends with the cartel and possibly they need organizational consulting, you know, and I could come out of retirement. No. We're going to spend, until I get my next check, uh, roaming around those mountains, which you almost can't see from here, but you can. This morning, you could see the fog, the fog has mostly burned off the mountains but not entirely and so one night in the hotel which will deplete our money pretty much but I could use it uh, and then I bet we'll find free places to park our camper van up in the mountains and make occasional trips to town and uh, I'll just text the cartel saying we're coming to town if if you want a piece of me, this, today is the day to do it, like that. So I'm obviously dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. I think I didn't sleep a lot last night. Uh, and I'm just so overwhelmed from everything so new and being so happy that we actually are in Mexico after 10 months of agonizing at the border, including almost getting across back December 3rd when my new friend at the cartel was gonna rehab my car to have Mexican plates and a new VIN number and a driver's license for me and when it seemed clear that he had been killed after he left with my $700 we cleared out of Brownsville pretty quick none of that turned out to be accurate he actually was a spectacular con man like one one in the lifetime con man who had his wife also believing <laughs> for nine years that he was working for the cartel and she who knew the security guards for the matamoros cartel that where the killing of americans happened not quite two weeks ago uh i knew their trucks and that guy had me convinced they were protecting me when he disappeared he had set it up perfectly to look like he probably had been killed uh, no he just took my money and ran 
Uh, she asked the security guards for the cartel. Well, what about Richard? Does he actually work for the cartel? And they said, no, we like him. He knows a lot. He probably blabbed more to Majo than he should have. So thank you for the tip. Now we will look for Majo. But Majo now is long gone from the Matamoros cartel. I don't know the name of the cartel here that all the websites say stay away from Victoria because of cartel. But I haven't met any yet. I've been asking people. I asked them two things walking down the street. I asked them if they want to buy a puppy. Pero 50 pesos. Just to reassure my dog that I don't give a shit about this puppy. And then I also asked them if they know anybody who works for the cartel. Because I want to pick up a little couple of billable days while I'm here. So like that. And so they at the hotel. Mexicans. Latino people will roll with your sense of humor. I said more bullshit to those three lovely ladies at the Hampton Inn, and they just would run with it. They spotted my sense, crazy Chicago sense of humor immediately, and would just roll with it, as opposed to so many Americans who stop in their tracks and saying, uh, do you mean that? Was, was that a serious statement? <laughs> That's what I get from so many Americans. No, Mexicans go, ah, you're crazy. Just like the black people would do in New Orleans. Ah, you're so crazy. Have a blessed day. So, I'm gonna get me a bicycle and sit out on the corner and eat my... I've already done that. I guess I already did that down at the Burger King. That's exactly, we sat on the curb and the dogs played while I ate my Mexican Whopper. I think it's made from Mexican cattle, although I'm not positive. That, that, may, that may be more bullshit. I don't know. I'm, I have to track my sources on that one. And then we're going to go back and take a nap, like, immediatamente. And I'm not sure if that time on my Casio watch is correct or if the time on my Apple Watch is correct because it went away anyway and they're not on daylight savings time here. So what that means in terms of what time, does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? No. Us Chicagoans who know that old group from Chicago, we know that nobody cares what time it is or nobody really knows. So, why not just say manana and have done with it, right? Okay, so there we go. Adios, hasta luego, buenas tardes, y uh, signing off, uh, your travel reporter, Swami, having a good time vishing you over here in Victoria, you know, wherever we are. Okay, bye.